Hello my friends, I'm Frankie and welcome to Club Food. When someone mentions the word casual, right away, we know it's a delicious, unpretentious, comforting food. I have a vast selection of casual recipes, like my Mediterranean eggplant, Frankie's macaroni, tuna casserole, Southwest beef, breakfast, and so on. Now here's another yummy one. In today's episode, I'll show you how to make my pepper and sausage casserole. This is such a simple dish, and yet it's so flavorful. With hot Italian sausage, although merguez or chorizo can be substituted, red and poblano peppers, along with other ingredients, this is the perfect weeknight meal to enjoy. So my friends, let's get cooking. In a large skillet over medium high heat, we'll add oil. And when it gets hot, we'll add the onions along with a couple pinches of ground sea salt. We'll quickly saute for only one minute. To this, we'll add red peppers as well as poblano peppers and saute them for two minutes. Next, We'll add the pressed garlic, but this time we'll saute it for just 30 seconds. Don't forget, we're on medium high and we don't want to burn our ingredients. Now we'll add the sausage with the casing removed. In this video, I'm using my homemade hot Italian recipe, but other times I use my merguez or chorizo, so read the blog for more details. We'll cook until the meat is brown, stirring constantly. That should take about five minutes. When this is done, we'll add dried basil, followed by smoked paprika and freshly ground black pepper. We'll blend the ingredients very well before adding orzo pasta. We'll mix it into the mixture and stir constantly for one minute. Now, what we'll do is to leave it like this, undisturbed, for 30 seconds so it can absorb some moisture. The next ingredient we'll add is a can of fire-roasted tomatoes, and we'll combine into the mixture. Oh, it smells so good! Then, we'll pour in chicken broth and also some dry red wine. We'll stir, increase the heat to high, and bring the mixture to a boil. When it gets there, we'll reduce the heat to medium-low and set the timer for 25 minutes. Halfway through, we'll give a quick stir and continue cooking until the liquid is mostly absorbed. When time is up, we'll add our fresh chopped parsley and stir once again. The liquid should be almost gone. If there's a little at the bottom, it's fine. That's exactly what we want. And my friends, this is our pepper and sausage casserole. Simple and yet so delicious. This is an easy and fairly quick recipe to make. It's original and different from other casseroles. With tasty ingredients, this dish is perfect to enjoy on weeknights. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit clubfoodie.com for ingredient amounts, directions, and more info. Until next time, my friends, bon appétit!